Hi there guys I hope you're doing well this is your friend and tutor Manas to begin this session let me put forward some relevant questions have you ever thought how drawings of huge buildings are prepared or how drawing related to heavy machinery is made how a 100 feet tall building is represented by say a 50 cm long line on a drawing sheet what exactly is that one thing or that mathematical parameter which allows you to convert dimensions so that they can fit in properly in a drawing sheet Well guys today I'll tell you exactly how all of this stuff is carried out and today I'll brief you about scales and what it means in context of engineering drawing or engineering graphics or even technical drawings So what exactly is a scale To understand this right now I'm going to show you a few pictures Let's have the first one Well that's a pretty good looking watch Let's see one more pic What about this guys Can you exactly spot the difference between the two pics that I have shown? In the second pic, you can clearly see that the wristwatch is made up of extremely small gears, and while drawing, one needs to enlarge them depending on their actual sizes. The radius of these gears is very small, ranging from say one millimeter to five millimeter. And here, we need some kind of a quantity which can magnify the dimensions so that it is easily constructible, and this quantity is what you refer to as a scale. In this case smaller dimension is being magnified hence this type of scale is an enlarging scale let us take this session forward and i'll show you some more illustrations that will really help you understand this well that's a cruise ship i would love to go to bahamas in that jokes apart moving ahead lamborghini man that's what i call a beast up next is the famous sears tower in chicago and finally one of the prime examples of modern engineering burj khalifa but why am i showing you all of this stuff guys just think about this aren't these objects huge and it's very difficult for us to make drawings of such objects to their true dimensions the best option that we do have is to reduce the dimensions by using a factor or a quantity this would ensure that the original dimension is reduced or shrinked to such an extent that it fits into our drawing sheet perfectly on a lighter note There is one guy who does not need a scale to prepare a drawing. Can you guess who it is? There is only one man on planet Earth who can do so and that's Rajinikant. Bow down to the king. With all due respect, he's an amazing human being. Guys, let's get forward. Now that you know what exactly a scale means, we'll now go ahead and quantify it to some extent. So let me introduce you to a new term called a representative fraction or representative factor. The scale of a drawing is indicated by a ratio called a representative fraction popularly abbreviated by RF it is basically a ratio of the length of an object on drawing to the actual length of the object let's understand RF in detail with an example a 1.5 meter long steel bar is shown by a 15 cm long line on drawing find its RF It's very clear in the problem description that the actual length of the steel bar is 1.5 meters whereas the length of the steel bar shown on drawing is 15 cm. So this is going to be your length on your drawing sheet and this is going to be the actual length. But the one thing that you need to do is to make a conversion. Now 1 meter is equivalent to 100 cm. So in place of this meter we can write 100 cm and on solving this you're going to get this value 1 is to 10. Okay? It means that the original dimension has been reduced 10 times. and that is an example of what you call a reducing scale now that you have understood the idea behind having a scale we'll now go ahead and classify them on the basis of rf that is representative factor so the first scale that we're going to talk about is a reducing scale and it's used for preparing drawings of huge objects like ships buildings and heavy machinery here the length on drawing is less than the actual length so rf is going to be less than 1 always now the second scale that i'm going to talk about is what you call an enlarging scale and it's used to prepare drawings of very small objects like screws small electronic gadgets wristwatch parts here the length on drawing is greater than the actual length and hence rf is going to be greater than 1 coming to the final type of scale that's what you call a full scale and here the object is drawn on sheet to its actual size like cell phones screw driver coke bottle laptop mouse pen all of these are examples of full scale rf is equal to 1 obviously as the drawing length is equal to the actual length 
that was all for today guys i'm sure that this tutorial will help you in understanding and preparing technical drawings this is manas patnayak signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing